Timothy Marcotte, and I'm here to speak to you today about the Sacrament of Penance. This is one of the most important sacraments for all Catholics because it allows us to enter into a relationship with God that is free from both sin and boundaries. However, the best way for you to learn about the sacrament is through a first-hand experience. Now, let's take a look into the life of Shane Martin. This is Shane Martin. Typical good student, good grades, goes to Mass on Sundays, but there's one problem. He sins. Now I know what you're thinking. Why is he looking at him so creepily? But in that moment, I knew Mr. Martin needed my help. He needed God's forgiveness. After Shane had examined his conscience and evaluated his actions over the past few years, I took him to the place where he could be forgiven. And now I will explain to you what happens during penance. Now Shane begins by doing the sign of the cross and saying, Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been however many years since my last conf confession. Then Father Maliani wishes to hear his sins, to which Shane gives a long and rather disturbing reply. Afterwards, he is prompted to say the act of contrition, and then Father Maliani gives him penance, gives him something to do in order to be forgiven for his sins, and then absolves him for his sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We will never know Shane's sins. That is only between Shane, the priest, and God. In order to maintain his newly reformed relationship with the Father, Shane must take the advice of the priest and put it in effect in his life. As a penance, Mr. Martin was given ten Hail, Hail Marys and ten Our Fathers. After that is complete, he has earned God's forgiveness. Shane had been forgiven of his sins. <laughs>